This is the Rockmix 8 Professional 8-channel live and recording mixer with a USB interface, Bluetooth compression, EQs, and more. This portable mixer can be used in a variety of different applications from Zoom calls, multi-person podcasting, Twitch game and live streaming, conference meetings, home studio recordings, as a live mixer for open mics and acoustic performances in coffee houses, or as a simple mixer to play music in a gym, a restaurant, a party hall, or a retail store. Included with the mixer is a USB cable that you use to power the device with the included block, as well as a USB cable to connect it to your computer. The mixer itself is made from a super solid steel construction that is both durable and portable, and all the knobs are smooth moving and high quality to hold up for everyday use. On both channels 1 and 2 of the mixer, there are XLR and quarter inch jacks. When you use the XLR jack, it's going to set that channel to a microphone level signal, and when you use the quarter inch jack, it will set that channel to a line level signal. So for best use when using a microphone, use an XLR cable, and for line level signal inputting, use a quarter inch cable. For channels one and two, there is also a gain knob to set the level of the microphone or line level signal, a pad button which will lower the amount of the gain on those channels if you wanted to use a high gain signal, like an electric guitar, keyboard, or synthesizer, and really cool, there is a compression knob which will compress the signal to even out the dynamics to give a nice professional sound. If you are using this mixer for a podcast, the compression will help your voice sound crisp and even alongside the three band high, mid, and low EQ. This EQ on each channel will be great to get the best out of your voice, especially if you are hosting a two-person podcast. You can use different EQs for each person and different compression levels to make sure the recording comes in sounding super professional. The effects knob that is on all of the channels is routed to the effects send port over here. And this is just used if you want to use this mixer with outboard analog effects like an outboard or reverb, delay, auto-tune, really just any effect. And then we have the pan knob so you can turn your voice or instrument to the left or right. And then at the bottom of channels one and two, there is another volume knob which essentially controls the level of signal going from the channels to the main mix. This will allow you to make sure that channels one and two are balanced in the main mix. There is also our phantom power button for channels one and two, which you just want to make sure is turned on if you're using a condenser microphone on either channel. Channels three and four is a stereo channel that can be used for stereo sources like keyboards and synths with the quarter inch ports at the top. It also features the three band EQ, and this is also our Bluetooth channel. So if you click the Bluetooth button over here and then connect your smartphone, tablet, or computer through Bluetooth, you can control the level of the music coming through the Bluetooth channel with this volume knob at the bottom. If you are hosting a podcast and you have sound effects on your smartphone or tablet, you can trigger them and it'll get it recorded through the mixer. Channels 5 and 6 is another stereo channel, but this is also our USB playback channel. So since this mixer can act as a USB interface, when you connect it to your computer with the USB cable and have this USB button on, if you set your computer's audio output to the mixer, you can then play music from YouTube or Spotify through this mixer and control its level on channels 5 and 6. There is also a two-track RCA input that has a volume control over here, and this acts as another aux input that you can use to input sound from a smartphone, tablet, MP3 player, DVD player, cassette player, anything with an aux cable. A lot of people use our Rock Mix mixers for podcasts, and this RCA input is great to plug in your phone if you do phone call style podcasts and interviews where you want the phone call to be recorded into your DAW. Now at the top, we have our main mix quarter inch outputs that you can use to send everything coming through the mixer to your studio monitors or other powered speakers for playback, listening, or monitoring. Above that, we have our quarter inch headphone output. So you can plug your headphones directly into to this output and if you want to use two headphones you can use our RHPA4 headphone amplifier. The headphone mix gets controlled by this knob over here. This knob also controls these control room quarter inch outputs which can be used for monitors, powered speakers, and monitoring in another room. So if you want to have the Rock Mix 8 in the room you are doing a podcast, but you want everything else like the speakers and the computer in a different control room, you would use these quarter inch outputs to go to those speakers. And all the way at the bottom, there is a main mix volume knob which controls the master volume of everything coming through the mixer for both recording into your DAW or for listening back on your speakers. But you're probably wondering what this mixer sounds like, so let's go to Perry who has a demo set up for us. What's up guys? So as you can see, I have my Rock Mix 8 and my condenser microphone also set up here to my computer, but real quick I'm just going to want to be sure to go into the sound settings and make sure my input and output device is set to USB audio codec. I'm also going to want to be sure to check the input and output settings here on my program. For today I'm doing this with Logic Pro X, but you're going to want to do this with any DAW that you guys are using out there, like GarageBand that you can download onto all Mac computers, 
and Audacity that you can download onto any PC. So both my output and my input device are set to USB audio codec as well. I have a track set up here, so all I'll need to do is adjust the gain and the level knobs here on the channel I'm using. And because I'm using a condenser microphone, I'll want to use the phantom power button to power my microphone. I'll also want to be sure to raise the main mix knob so that everything coming from my mixer goes out to my computer. And now you'll see there's a good level coming through my track right here. So now I'm gonna record a sample for you guys so I can show you all of the features that come with the mixer. So as you guys can hear, we get a really clean sound with our microphone through the mixer without any noise or hum. Next we have the pan knob which would affect the stereo imaging of our voice. This is more noticeable on a stereo track. So if you pan it all the way to the left, you'll hear your voice coming out more on the left speaker. And if you pan it all the way to the right, you would hear your voice coming more out of the right speaker. And if you leave it in the center, you'll get a nice even sound between both speakers. Lastly, we have the level knob, which affects the overall volume of our channel. So if I bring it all the way down, you won't hear anything out of the microphone because we essentially muted the track. And as we bring it back up, check one, two, check one, two, check one, two. You start to hear the voice again as it comes through the channel. This mixer is extremely versatile and can be used for so many different applications. You can use it for podcasting, for Twitch game or live streaming. It's an all-in-one system to record with. You can use it for Zoom calls and conference calls or in the home studio to record multiple vocalists, guitars and keyboards. You can use it for karaoke or for simple setups in gyms, garages, restaurants, retail stores, you name it. So if you're looking for a versatile, portable, and professional 8-channel mixer with a USB recording interface, Bluetooth compression, and EQ, look no further than the Rockmix 8 from Rockville.